ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज द फ्यूचर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज ए क्लीन फ्यूएल एंड वेरी चीप सो टूडे इवन इन दिटी लाइक मुंबई दिल्ली चेन्नई कैलकत्ता वी कैन मेक दिस नाउ वी आर वर्किंग ऑन वन प्रपोजल इन बैंगलोर वी आर ऑलरेडी स्टार्टिंग द वर्क ऑफ बैंगलोर रिंग रोड कॉस्टिंग सेवनटीन थाउजेंड करोर टू एटी एट किलोमीटर लेंथ ऑफ द रोड इज देर सो नाउ वी आर थिंकिंग बाय कनेक्टिंग वन प्लेस टू अदर बाय रोप वे केबल कार फ्रॉनिकुलर रेलवे नाउ वन ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी विच आई सीन दैट दैट इज डबल टेकर बस having capacity of 250 people and we can take it from them from the sky now the all technology available in the world all people are interested to invest in india i have already interaction with all the companies now we have a big convention for that and now this is the time that in place of diesel buses in place of this petrol car and other modes which are available in place of that this is the time for our future development because we need to develop the infrastructure of world standard import substitute cost effective pollution free indigenous so mass rapid transport electricity we are now planning for trolley bus we are planning from delhi to jaipur if it is to be successful then we can make delhi to mumbai and even truck can go by electric then in place of 110 rupees diesel the electric cost will be 8 rupees so it is going to reduce the cost so this is type of futuristic technology in the transport is very important the most important thing is we are going to change fuel in place of diesel and petrol the idea is we can think about electric trucks then trucks on lng cng and we have lot of alternative fuel and biofuel we is a really a success story now we are have methanol i am giving you the example that methanol rate is 22 rupees per liter and we have successfully implemented the karnataka state transport pilot project by using 15% methanol in diesel it is successfully implemented now in the assam petroleum we have methanol is available in mumbai deepak fertilizer and rca methanol is available and now government has taken decision to adding 15% methanol in diesel now you just understand the diesel rate is 110 rupees per liter and methanol is 22 to 23 rupees per liter and the most important thing is now ashok leland has already launched their trucks on 100% methanol we can get methanol from coal low quality coal not only methanol we can get ammonium nitrate methanol and dme and in usa the 40% up to the 40% dme adding in lpg so we can reduce the cost of lpg we can use methanol as a fuel and ample coal is available in the country and this is going to develop new economy now we have in talcher Tal in orissa we coal calcification we are making urea so this is the way in which we are going to reduce our import reducing our logistic cost and that is because of the this is very important because of that we will increase our export because if the 6% of the cost logistic cost is reduced we will be more competitive in international market our export will be more our employment potential will be increase and the growth will be increase right. and that is to be the dream of prime minister to make indian economy of 5 trillion dollar and the third largest economy in the world right. in atmanirbhar bharat actually the we are already constructing 36 green express highway just i am giving you the example you start from manali Manali to Rohtang Pass. Previously, the journey time was three and half hour, but because of Atal Tunnel, it is only eight minutes now. And after coming to Atal Tunnel, we have now in the process of making eight tunnels up to Ladakh and Leh. Then Ladakh Leh, if you come to Jhojila, it is to be the longest tunnel in Asia, eleven kilometer uh, near Kargil. and then you can come to jhedmore and after jhedmore we can come to srinagar then srinagar to jammu we are making 18 tunnels out of which probably within 3 month all tunnels will be completed and before coming to jammu near katra there is delhi katra express highway so from that express highway it is delhi to amritsar 4 hours delhi to srinagar 8 hours and delhi to katra 6 hours 
So by that highway you come to Delhi Mumbai Express Highway and directly going up to the Surat. Now this is a game changer. We are going to reduce the distance between Chennai to Delhi by 320 kilometers. From Surat to Nasik, Nasik to Ahmednagar, Ahmednagar to Solapur, Solapur to Kaimundi. Now from Delhi to South India, anywhere, you don't need to go to Mumbai and Pune, and Kolhapur and Solapur. So after Solapur, it will be connect to Karnul. And Karnul to Hyderabad, Trivendram, Cochin, Bangalore, Bangalore, Chennai, and Kanyakumari. So in our, when I was student, there was a, in the discussion and uh, speeches, our leaders were talking about Kashmir se Kanyakumari tak. So that is to be first time we are seeing that Kashmir is a Kanyakumari. And the most important thing is, there are two important things which futuristic planning and futuristic implementation is very important regarding the development. The one is this green express highway where 100 to 120 kilometers average speed. So now by end of this December, Delhi to Jaipur, two hours. Delhi to Dehradun, two hours. Delhi to Katra, six hours. Delhi to Srinagar, eight hours. Already we have constructed Bangalore to Mysore. It is now one hour. Then up to end of this December, uh, we will have the road from Chennai to Bangalore, two hours. So by making this road, we are reducing logistic cost. This is very important. Now presently in India, our logistic cost is 14 to 16 percent. And our dream is to take it up to single digit, up to 9%. So first of all, now the one truck taking Mumbai, it takes 54, 58 hours. But now it can be easy to go by 24 hours from Delhi to Mumbai. So truck will take double trips. So that will reduce the cost, capital cost. And at the same, same time, because of Green Express Highway, these are totally new road. So we are going to reduce the distance. And frankly speaking, we have the import of 16 lakh crores of fossil fuel. By taking lot of efforts, still we have, we don't have the ethanol economy of 1 lakh crore. Now the electric is the waiting list for scooters, cars and auto rickshaw. Now we are in the process of electric buses. Now I am confident that within 5 years, the metro cities like Delhi, Mumbai, everywhere we will have 100% electric buses. But the problem is that in construction equipment, in shipping, everywhere we are using, using this fossil fuel. Mm. So my suggestion is sky is the limit. Mm. Don't waste your time in the, all this discussion. Mm. Find out the option for diesel and petrol, which is a big import for the country. It's an economic challenge. And that's a pollution point of view, it is a very, very serious issue. Mm. So whatever the alternative you have, you take it. Mm. Now in Assam, the Assam Petroleum, they have got methanol is available. So in Assam and Northeast, we can convert our transport on methanol. In Mumbai, if the methanol is available, the Mumbai best buses, we can convert on methanol. Somewhere, ethanol is very important economy. Now the problem is that our 65% of the population, it belongs to agriculture. And our contribution from agriculture and allied industry in GDP is only 12%. From manufacturing sector, 22 to 24%. Service sector, 52 to 54%. So this is the time and very seriously is an important issue that how we are going to increase the agriculture growth rate. And that is the reason that we need to diversify agriculture towards energy and power sector. I am always telling to the people because I am farmer. किसान अन्नदाता था अब ऊर्जा दाता बन गया अब परिया हरियाणा पंजाब में बिटुमिन बना रहा है वी डोंट नीड टू इंपोर्ट बिटुमिन वी हैव अ गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ बिटुमिन फ्रॉम परली एंड नाउ इन पानीपत फ्रॉम परली राइस ट्रॉ द इंडियन ऑयल इज मेकिंग 1 लाख लीटर ऑफ बायो इथेनॉल पर डे देन 150 